In our previous video, we had seen how to retrieve the Bosch BME 680 sensors values on the Thingy 91 via a serial connection. However, reading the values through a cable connection from a device which has both cellular and Bluetooth capabilities didn't seem any feasible, and I wanted to see if there was a smarter and wireless way to read those values. After a quick online search, I came across the Nordic UART service NUSS Short. This is a custom service that receives and writes data and serves as a bridge to the UART interface. In this page, you can see the details of this service, its TX and RX characteristics, and etc. But this BLE service is disabled by default. To enable it, you should connect your Thingy 91 to your PC with the USB cable, and you should set the BLE underscore enabled line to 1 in the config TXT of the device. And you should safely disconnect the drive and the USB cable as indicated in the config.txt. So now on the right hand side you can see the screen on my iPhone which has NF Connect for mobile installed. As we tap and open this app we can go to the scanner and tap on the play button to start scanning. Now we can see a list of the devices that are nearby however we don't see our thingy since it's not on yet. And as we turn it on you will see that the red LED will be on since in our previous video we had programmed it so that if the temperature is above a certain threshold the red LED will be on. Now we will be able to see our device in the list you can see that we can check thingy 91 uart here and once we tap the connect button we will be able to connect to it and now we are connected and if we scroll to the client tab you can see a list of characteristics and services you can cross check the uart rx characteristic and tx characteristic ids here and we can tap on this icon on the right hand side of your TX characteristic and you will see the values of temperature, pressure, humidity and air quality there. And it's being updated regularly. And if you go through the log, you will see these values also printed on the log. You can see the raw data and also you can see the convert data which actually is UTF-8. So we can scroll down and see the updated values as well. So we can check it in the data parser. We already have selected UTF-8. And you can share this log. For example, you can send it via an email or share via WhatsApp. And you can choose between formats and you can filter the output that you'll see on the log. Now let's leave only application and also only the connected device. And you can see that we updated it. We are now just seeing the values that we are receiving. And there's a better way to see these values. If you click on the scroll lock, it will scroll automatically and you will see the updated values there. And if you tap this icon once again you won't see those values on the log and you can tap on disconnect to disconnect from the device